Good evening, everybody. Hope you had a great day today. Hope you're blessed this day in the name of Jesus. And I just wanted to bring you a quick message before I be before I read out of Luke thirteen or Luke seventeen eleven through nineteen. Listen to this, you guys. Give God the gift of a thankful heart. Try to see causes of thankfulness in your everyday life. When life seems hard and troubles crowd, then look for some reasons for thankfulness. There is nearly always something you can be thankful for. The offering of thanksgiving is indeed a sweet incense going up to God throughout the busy day. Seek diligently for something to be glad and thankful about. You will acquire in time the habit of being constantly grateful for God for all his blessings. Amen. I can attest to that, my brothers and sisters. Now as I continue, each new day, some new cause for joy and gratitude will spring to your mind and you will thank God sincerely. Listen to this, you guys. As Jesus continued on toward Jerusalem, as he reached the border between Galilee and Samaria. As he entered a village there, ten men with leprosy stood at a distance, crying out, Jesus, Master, have mercy on us. He looked at them and he said, Go show yourselves to the priests. And as they went, they were cleansed of their leprosy. One of them, when he saw that he was healed, came back to Jesus, shouting, Praise God! He fell to the ground at Jesus' feet, thanking him for what he had done. This man was a Samaritan. And Jesus asked, Didn't I heal ten men? Where are the other nine? Has no one returned to give glory to God except this foreigner? And Jesus said to the man, Stand up and go. Your faith has healed you. Hailed you. Now you see, these ten lepers illustrate Jesus' great, great compassion for the, for the hurting and his desire to make them whole again. Only one of the ten lepers returned to say thanks. And that was a Samaritan. In recovery, my brothers and sisters, most people in the world, most people will not appreciate our efforts to intervene on their behalf. Those few who are grateful are the faithful ones who will get well. Tonight I ask of you guys your prayers for my nephew Kyle, who's around 18 months of age. He's just a little tyke, going through some hard, hard times, illness right now. He's got a fever of 103 plus. He's going to the ER at the moment. I just get, I got to my I got to my Bible as soon as I could and when I got home here. And I dug in some other literature, and I found the answer, and I'm giving thanks, and I'm giving gratitude and prayers tonight in the name of Kyle to God, because he will be healed. And not only will be healed, we'll be thankful, because you know what? It's Lord, it's God's will. It's, it's the Lord's will, and whatever happens, happens. But we, 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 res, we raise up, and we send up our prayers tonight for Kyle. God bless you all. We'll see you tomorrow.